Uh, hello everybody, so today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, challenges of unstructured data. Uh, it's not necessarily the most interesting of subjects, but I'm sure you agree and what we've seen across our clients is it's a real challenge and for many of our clients it's uh, often been ignored for uh, many years really. So to give you a bit of an introduction about myself, I'm Head of Business Development for Data Barracks but I'm also one of the founders of Kazoo, which I'm going to come on into a bit later. I've also got my fellow co-founder Radek, who's actually sitting at the back of the theatre today. He, he was a bit of a coward and didn't want to come up here today and join me in this presentation, but he's available afterwards to take any more of your in-depth technical details about what we do at Kazoo. So, Let's have a look and really see, you know, what firstly, what do we mean by unstructured data? So when we see and talk to our clients, what they see as unstructured data is mainly the file data that sits on their file systems, the stuff that they often don't know anything about and have very little detail or knowledge about whether it actually has value to their business. But when we also speak to people, they may see this data as social media data, text data, and also log data that they need to analyze for different reasons. So, coming to the challenges that we see as uh, through Data Barracks as a backup provider for many years is the challenges with data growth and the trends that people have. So what we've always had a problem and an issue with is actually helping people understand the data and understanding what's valuable to them as a business. Often when we go to see a lot of our clients, the main issue is that 70 to 80% of their data is unstructured and they have very little knowledge about that. The other issue also is the rapid pace that data is growing for them and also the fact that their budgets are also limited. The problem also that we see is compliance. And often when we go to sit down with our clients and understand about their compliance requirements, a lot of what they have actually doesn't apply to all their data. But unfortunately, it becomes very simple and easy just to apply retention policies to everything that they have rather than actually look at it and evaluate whether this still has value to the business. When we look at the challenges to the users, which, if we're honest, users don't particularly care about the problem. Users just want to get access to the data as quickly as possible and as easy as possible and when they need it. The issue for the business, and maybe for IT managers or IT directors out there today, is that they're responsible for managing the data and they're responsible for managing the growth of the data and the budget that applies to this. However, they're not necessarily responsible for the people that create the data and in many organizations that we sit down with actually duplicate this data. And this can be a huge overhead for businesses to manage and control as they grow as a business, as more users come on board and more data is created. It's very difficult for them to stay on top of that and actually manage that moving forward. So what's really caused the problem and in every business that we see and over the last 11 years, the fact is storage has become cheaper. So for people it's been much easier for them to throw more storage at the problem rather than actually deal with the problem at hand. It's easier to worry about it later than actually deal with it now. And in many cases, people aren't going to be in their organizations for a long period of time. It often becomes someone else's problem that comes into that role. Another issue is people don't necessarily have the tools we see to actually evaluate the data and understand what's of value to their business. They don't want to be responsible for de deleting data that they n haven't necessarily created. If you have data in a structured format, it is much easier for the business to understand the value of that. And for most of them, that's 20 to 30% of their data. And generally, that will sit among databases, and they see that as the value. But there's still this 70 or 80% of unstructured data that people don't make a decision about. And it can be a, a huge cost to the business that doesn't necessarily have to be. And also, a major issue is really a lack of time for businesses, especially small to medium-sized businesses that we work with, to be able to actually throw resource to evaluate the data. 
because they're focusing on other areas of the business. So if we look at um, some tools that we see, and, and as Data Barracks is a business, um, you know, a lot of our clients are small to medium sized clients. So when we sit down with them, we have to evaluate and understand the data that they have so that we can appropriately put the best backup service in place and scale that over a period of time. And a lot of people use very simple, uh, sometimes free tools to help them evaluate the types of data they have, the locations of data they have, and the data trends that are within their organization. The problem with this is it's often time consuming and it lacks the functionality that they actually need to make the right decisions. On the other end of the scale, you have larger enterprises who will spend a huge amount of money on software and throw teams and have people responsible for compliance and data governance to be able to actually put these processes in place to have an effective strategy for their data. However, this is expensive, it takes a huge amount of time um, and it's often out the reach of a lot of small to medium sized enterprises that we work with. There's a, there's a famous quote by uh, John Wanamaker and he said half the money I spend on uh, advertising is wasted, the trouble is I don't know which half. So this applies pretty well to the issues that we see with our clients and the data that they have. They've got a huge amount of unstructured file data, 20 terabytes for example. The issue they don't have is they don't know which 10 terabytes is of value to the business and which ter terabytes is waste. And the issue they have is if you have a production environment, a DR environment and backup environment, you're tripling your costs for storing data that doesn't necessarily have value to you as a business. So I suppose what are the solutions that will help to um, evaluate this? So for us it's about identifying the data that's valuable to you as a business and do you need to keep it. So getting the stakeholders together and getting the heads of departments who are responsible for those users to make a decision about the data that you're actually storing in multiple different environments. You need to manage and organize the data more efficiently and you need to, what we see and actually we don't see a lot, is actually deploy effective archiving strategies. So leverage cloud services or cloud storage as your capacity to archive into. Why are you managing a huge amount of data if you can leverage a cloud service provider to effectively archive that data but still have the ability to recover it when you need to? And I think that comes quite importantly into uh, a, a movement that we're all seeing today in cloud services where people are really starting to evaluate the data that they're keeping because when you move to a cloud model, it's capacity based and you pay for everything that you store in a cloud provider. So it becomes important as a business or a financial director to say, well, we're storing all this data, does it still have value to our business? We are now paying for this as an operational expense. So it's important for that evaluation for us to take place at the beginning and to help our clients understand that. So what we uh, started um, last year was, as part of Data Barracks, we developed a software as a service called Kazoo. And what Kazoo does is it is effectively three things. It allows you to analyze unstructured file data. So what we do is we deploy a virtual machine to be able to put structure across large sets of unstructured file data. We then wrap a search around this to actually give you the ability to understand the data dimensions and anomalies in that data so you can actually recover it when you want to and see it very quickly as well as actually giving it back to your users. So users shouldn't have to come to an IT department to get the data they need. They should be able to have a search within their organization that not only searches their local unstructured file data but also leverages archived cloud service to be recover to recover the data when they need to. And that's quite important because it will certainly alleviate a lot of time for IT departments running around looking for data that they didn't create and they really don't know where it is. So when we look at the archiving product, what it really does is it drills down into unstructured file data. It looks at the different data dimensions, the locations of data, the types of data, and it helps you to change views and the way that you analyze that data. 
So it makes it easy for you to find out where the business value is in that data and is it, is it, is it important for you to still keep that data as a business, you know? Should you be deleting the data? Should you be archiving the data? You know, in many cases, deduplication duplication is, is common, you know, and this will help you to identify that across your unstructured file data. We then, once you've run the analytics across your data, we then wrap the search around the indexed meta and content data. So this allows you, as a IT department or a user, to actually search for data that is relevant for you and to bring that up very, very quickly into a search engine. And finally, which really um, is important, is the whole actionable data. So once we provide insight into unstructured file data, it is important for people to actually be able to action that. You don't just want to see the problem, understand the problem, and not actually be able to do anything about that. So what we do is give you the ability to say, well, this data has no value to our business. Why don't we remove it from our systems? This data might have value. Why don't we archive it? This data hasn't been accessed and modified in five or 10 years. You know, why are we still storing this on our expensive SAN storage? Why don't we leverage a more cost-effective cloud service um, to be able to reduce our costs as a business. And what we've done is we've integrated Amazon S3 object storage service as a hybrid to your existing environments to be able for you to leverage that to move your static archive file data into the cloud. But what we've done is we've actually wrapped the search around this as well. So it's not just put your data in the cloud and forget about it and hope the business never want it back. It's actually saying, archive your data in an effective way. Wrap the search around both local data and archive data to give it back to the users through Active Directory integration so the data that is important to them can be recovered at blistering speeds. So that's it. It's, it's pretty brief, but um, I can take some questions or we can we talk afterwards, but we're, we're currently in private beta. Uh, we're obviously looking to work with more clients on this. If anyone has issues around unstructured file data, then we'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you for your time. I'm free. Good crowd.